Oh, we're doing a little painting. <laughs> Hell of a place up here. That's not so bad. Just set up from here? Yep. Okay. You lead the way. I'm leading the way? Yeah. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is a bad sign. Bad start. We'll head this way. I'll See? Lead the way. See, that's why you should be leading the way, man. <laughs> Just arrived in Revelstoke and uh, met up with Snowshoe Pete who's an interesting character that moved here from Toronto and found love in the mountains, or at least fell in love with the mountains. Can't really speak to what else he's found here. Uh, but we're gonna be doing some snowshoeing, snowshoeing up one of these vertical peaks. Can't believe how steep everything is. Uh, and then I think we're gonna try to get up onto some ridges and actually do some, some good rock hopping and stuff like that. Not really sure. This is kind of like an orientation day. We're just figuring out where we are here in the Rockies. And uh, this is basically my first glimpse of anything that's, uh, that's around here, got in here at night. So uh, seeing these spectacular peaks all around, I'm super ready for playing in the mountains up here in Revelstoke and uh, seeing what this place has to offer. And uh, yeah, I think today's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, so you see these like uh, tubulars on the ground of dirt, and the peak yeah. is dig, dig holes in the winter in the snow, and then uh, fill them with dirt. Really? And then when the snow melts, it like leaves all these giant tubes all over the, the mountainside. They just chill under the snow all winter. Yeah. So if you think about it, like, you know, thousands of peakers across all these mountains doing this for, I don't know how many peak generations, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like they've really transformed this landscape. Really? Like completely, like they're, you know, when you aerate your lawn with yeah, one of those, like that's, that's like what they're what doing is. all the time. They're yeah. Aerating everything. Oh, that's so convenient. It's pretty neat. It's, it's good labor. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Look at it. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> These right here, are glacier lilies. In about a month, this whole hillside will be covered in flowers. Yeah. These are the first to go, and uh, they actually taste pretty good. And this is what the pika and the ground squirrel are after. They oh, dig yeah? up the roots. Yeah. They're after this one. Mm-hmm. Just eat a hole. Yeah, yeah, try it. And the leaves are good as well. So it's basically like a whole salad out here. Oh, yeah. Just ready to pick. That's pretty good. The anemones are a little poisonous, I've heard. I haven't tried them yet. A little poisonous? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll avoid those. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Not bad, you eh? You can eat basically the whole thing? Mm-hmm. And the root and the bulb. Wow. Get my greens in. <laughs> There's a lot of edible Why stuff up here, actually. Lunch? I don't, I don't <laughs> here we are. It's pretty incredible to see the transition from winter to summer. In winter, yeah. this is like a, a desolate, you know, snowy landscape. Yeah. <clears throat> and by the by the summer, there's there's a ton of edible stuff up here. Yeah. Yeah. And you were well, saying just a couple of days ago, this was all snow. This was covered in snow four days ago. Four days ago. Yeah. Wow. That is quite the transition. Like the anemones actually generate their own heat to burst through the snow. Yep. And we'll see that a little later on once we're closer to some snow patches. Yep. You'll see all the snow melted around them as they're trying to break through. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty neat. Just getting started here in Revelstoke. Day one. So we've gotten to film in Banff National Park. We've gotten to film in Newfoundland. We've gotten to film in Sunshine Coast, BC. And now we're here in Revelstoke, another part of BC. It's just amazing the diversity that Canada has here. Everywhere we go feels totally unique, totally different, and uh, just staggered by the, the beauty. I mean, some, for some reason, this place isn't known as a summer destination. People typically know it for just skiing. But you come out here, it's like, this is amazing. It's so spectacular. Looks so inviting. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a pretty fun place to explore. All right, have you used these things? I might be able to intuitively figure out <laughs> what goes where, unless, unless I don't. <laughs> Not every day you get to go snowshoeing on the uh, summer solstice. Was that a couple days ago? 
<laughs> Is it the summer solstice? Yeah, I think two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. All right, you good? I'm good. Be a little bit of skiing. Woo oh yeah. There we go. Snowshoe Pete. <laughs> I had a girl asked me what's was it's called Snowshoe Pete, and I said, well, it's because I do snowshoe tours. And she's like, oh, she's like, I thought it's because you really like snowshoeing. Like she hadn't met me, she just heard of Snowshoe Pete, and she just assumed it was a guy who was like really into snowshoeing. <laughs> <laughs> All my spare time, I snowshoe. I just can't get enough of it. I dry land train in the summer. Snowshoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drywall Dale, uh, Logger Tom. It's a small town, so you know you just get that's that's what ends up being your name. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Why don't we all do that? I don't know. I don't know what I would be. <laughs> Walking Eric. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool looking. That lake is amazing. Is everyone okay with a little like scrambling or? Yeah, sure. Because instead okay of with scrambling. Just like a, yeah. like a light scramble. A light scramble. Uh, like our eggs this morning. Like instead of going down and around. Sorry. Where I usually take gas. We could just get to that rock face and just work our way up it. Oh, Love it. That ridge line kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Like up this stuff's all scrambly, but like where the more solid rock is. is. And then once we get up to there, it's a pretty incredible view to like the backside of Mackenzie, backside of Goat, Highway Bowl. Um, there's, there should be a giant cornice in there right now. Sick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. yeah. I'm good with that. Just another casual hike with Revelstoke Hiking Company. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good one. Getting vertical here. This one's maybe not like the toddler friendly route. That's okay. That looks fun. This looks more fun, eh? Yeah. Oh, I'm down. That rock's a bit loose. Okay. So is that one. <laughs> you know what? This whole thing might be a little bit loose. <laughs> Are we stuck? <laughs> Hey uh, At least say hello to that tree first. Just gonna hug this tree a little bit. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. I see why you came out here. Yeah, I'd way rather, rather be working in a tower in downtown Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> this is a better office. <laughs> There's a little thin up here. Gotta work a little hard. Still got more to go. I do incorporate a lot as much as I can into our shoots. So we're going to be going up there, doing some filming up at the top. So in the meantime, I'm going to set my camera up here. What is this lovely feature? Old weather vane. It's a pole. We made it. It's for swinging. High five. Oh, that's, that's for swinging. <laughs> uh, doesn't look structurally sound. I'll leave that to you. Nice Pretty awesome place up here. We're gonna do this again tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> Daily ritual. What do we see from here? We see some uh, some mountains. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. There's goat. There's a little one down there. We were thinking about going to today. Came oh, this guy. Instead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, ghost is that big one with that big slab face. So really cool. Looking kind of half domey thing. Yeah. Yeah. What's this one that's uh, scraping the clouds? That one is uh, Cartier. 
People heli drop that in the summer with their mountain bikes. Really? Where, how could you, where would you possibly even be going? Yeah, they, they go all the way down the face that we can't, can't see, and uh, then they okay. end up actually just down here. Jeez. Kind of looks like an endless playground out here. It never ends. Yeah. Yeah. And you could do It's like the different anything. sports get their own mountains. Oh, yeah? yeah? It's like snowmobiling's there, backcountry skiing's there, lift access skiing's here. Heli skiing's. No mountain biking. Heli skiing's everywhere. <laughs> Well, this is cool. This is great to like get situated and just see what's around Revelstoke. Uh, being in this is my first time in Revelstoke, so yeah, seeing it, seeing it for here. the first time. Yeah. yeah, it's incredible up here. Would have been easier to take a helicopter, but we. Uh, well, why didn't you organize that? We, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's good to good to get the legs pumping, lungs breathing.